Hey, my people, it's Major Major TV. Let's talk. There is a disturbing story that, that leaked out um several days ago about an 18 year old black man by the name of Omari Bryan found hanging from Hotel Homerville, Georgia. No answers, no cameras working, and typical media broadcast this young man's criminal history. We are very, very saddened that another black life is lost. Condolence to his family. I will keep you updated as more facts come out. I'm really taken aback by this, that another black man is found hanging. Um, at the end of at the end of this um clip I'm about to drop um on you all uh, sharing um story they will show a graphic picture of Omari um hanging from the hotel balcony with his feet touching the ground leaning um, it will be graphic for some people you know. Um, you may not want to see this, but, um, I'm about to play it, um, um, most of the coverage of it, and, um, it, it, it's just sad. Covering South Georgia now, a disturbing investigation underway in Clinch County, where an 18-year-old was found hanging outside of a motel in Homerville. The community shaken up after a photo showing it all started circulating online. We have chosen not to show that photo, but our Amber Spradley brings us reaction from residents there. Well, despite this sign behind me here, posted at the front of this hotel building claiming 24-hour surveillance, hotel management says all of their six video cameras were not working at the time. Homerville police officers responded to Southern Pines Inn around 7 Saturday morning to find 18-year-old Omari Bryant hanging from the front of the building. It hadn't been determined whether it's suicide or homicide at this point, and that's why they're investigating. The city's attorney, Jeff Helm, says the Homerville Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division is working the case. The GBI saying it's not assisting. The city and whoever else is involved in the investigation will do the best job they can to get answers. I was asleep. My daddy came in the room he was like, some boy, sapphire, but hanging up there the roof, and I ain't think nothing to know it. Friends Farron Cooper and Octavius Butler were classmates with Bryant at Clinch County High. They say they don't believe he would take his own life. I think it's something behind the scene about this. Jocelyn Walker says she grew up with Bryant, and the two were best friends. He wasn't somebody that would do something like this and put himself on display. He wouldn't want nobody looking at him. According to police documents, Bryant was arrested by the Clinch County Sheriff's Office last Monday for stabbing two people. While they survived, he faced three felony charges, but was released just three days before his death. Brian's body has since been taken to the GBI crime lab in Pooler for an autopsy. Now the city is awaiting results from that autopsy. In the meantime, though, groups throughout the community are coming together, fighting for what they're calling justice for Amari. Reporting in Homerville, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. And anyone with information surrounding Brian's death is asked to call Homerville PD. You can find that number on our website, WCTV.